on this edition of Arts, a photographer faced with the loss of sight, learning that it's never too late to pursue art, a fascinating history of art looted during the Second World War, and music steeped in Hawaiian culture. All this and much, much more on this edition of Arts. Hi, I'm Asia Sherevino and welcome to Arts. First up, local artist Joan Frederick is a photographer who doesn't just take photos. She uses her creative eye to make those pictures part of a larger work of art. But Joan's creative eye, or eyes, started to fail and then she received a dire doctor's diagnosis. She was prepared as there was a good chance she would go blind. I grew up in Oklahoma, so I have a very strong influence of a Native American culture in my life. Uh, I was a big part of the Indian art community. I, I helped write magazine articles and books about that art. It's hard to describe my art. People ask me what I do, especially when they hear I'm a photographer, which is not really your quote, quote, photographer. I do use photographs a lot in my work, but I have a tendency to turn them into something else. And again, the reason I do that is because uh, it's so fast. The photograph takes an image and you get an idea, but then I like to push that idea further. Sometimes uh, I push it in terms of you know larger pieces or an idea where somebody didn't think of that before, you know, like the photograph of the clouds um, on back to back and then make a mobile out of them. It's basically photographs, but then I turn it into a mobile. So that's what I enjoy doing is playing with the idea of the conceptual idea. I know a lot about modern art and I've been influenced by a lot of different kinds of art and I like to play with all those mediums and push them. About 10 years ago, I couldn't see very well and I went to the doctor and they told me that I had a degenerative cornea disease, Fuchs dystrophy, and that eventually uh, my eyes would cloud over and I would go blind. So I couldn't believe it. It was like a cancer diagnosis for me as an artist. But um, they told me that day, they said, try not to be upset because the technology now and medicine is moving so fast that by the time you can't function anymore, they might have an operation that can help you. And that's exactly what happened. So I went from the dark ages of surgery to what happened to me where I got two cornea transplants. Uh, the Color Blind exhibit is a show that invites artists to make artwork that is for people with disabilities, but especially blind people. I was supposed to do a piece that was tactile. So I did a mosaic out of beads. It's called Three Pear Trees. And I made it so that there were crystals in the sky. And when you put it in the window, the sun shines through the beads and then it shoots rainbows onto the floor. So I wanted to heighten the experience of the visual for people who could see. I wanted it to be an image that people who couldn't see could experience it tactilely. And then also the fact that the rainbows would remind us, wow, you know, vision is so, it's so incandescent, it's so wonderful that it can do those kinds of things. This is wedding day. I remember when I got married, I thought, I want to live this dream and I want to be happy and I want someone to care about me and I want to have a family. And then I remember thinking, boy, I sure hope this works out. And then later when it didn't work out, I thought, you know, I felt like I was up in a giant tree in a big forest. I thought, how am I going to get down from this tree? Cage Bird is a mixed media piece uh, about women who marry for money and then become unhappy in their situations, but they stay in the marriage because uh, they're afraid to fly away like a bird. Another piece I did was called the sky table where I took a coffee table and I put a mirror on the top and then I suspended a, basically a piece of film over the table with a light shining down through it and the piece of film is an image of the sky that I took up in an airplane way down looking at clouds. This piece works because it has a shade inside and the shade moves and it reminds me of those old 50s beer lamps. The pieces I'm working on now, I'm using light. Uh, I can make a photograph on a piece of plexiglass and then shoot an LED light behind it and play with the light in the room. This is called the Evening Birds, 
And at night, the LED strip behind it changes colors, so it looks like the sun going down with birds in the trees. I've learned that uh, there's so much good art out there that we all have a place, you know, and I have a specific place um, that where I can do what I do now that I'm older. I've really done my homework with art history and all the information that I've learned going to art shows and meeting other artists, and I put that together with my own art now. For more information on Joan Frederick, check out her website at joanfrederick.net.